Hi everyone, this is Max from Dice Design. Today we will go through the process of installing the Dice Extruder and the Dyson X in a Ultimaker Original Plus. First thing first, you want to go to the www.dicedesign.com in the support section and download and print the three-part bracket made specially for the Ultimaker. Okay, now that you print uh, the bracket, the first thing you want to do is to remove the carriage the, from the printer. And to do that, uh, you will have to remove the rods. And after that, the carriage itself will be removed uh, easily. So let's do it. Okay, now that you remove the Y and X rod from the carriage, you will have to remove the four thumb screws on the top to be able to remove the sensor and the bearing. So let's do it. Okay, so now that you remove the bearings, the thermistor and the heater, you are ready to uh, mount the custom bracket. So first thing, you take the bottom and you put the first bearing in it. Like that. You take the second piece, put the other one in it. Like that. And now you're ready to put the top piece itself. like that and it's really important you need a teflon tube that you will put through the bracket okay so now that you remove and put in the bearings you are ready to put the fasteners that the uh, ultimaker use for her car their carriage and um, you can do two things you can thread the bottom part to fit the M3 thread or you can put some nuts on each fastener to uh, tighten the assembly. We decide to put the thread in the bottom part. So after you do that, you are ready to re-put the rods and put the extruder itself on the carriage. Okay, so now that you reinstall the carriage rod, you are ready to uh, put the Dyson X on. And to do it, you will have to buy this little adapter for the thermistor. And it will be sold directly on our e-store online. So first thing, you put the adapter in the thermistor hole. Like that. And now you're ready to put the thermistor in and you will just have to tighten the little set screw right here. And the last thing you want to do on the Dyson X itself is to put the heater in the hole for the heater itself. Okay, so now that this is done, you're ready to fasten the Dyson X on the carriage itself. And for that operation, we will reuse the groove mount plate that are included with your Dyson Dyson extruder itself. So the Dyson extruder come with that part that goes right here and the fastener that go through the block itself. So just remove the screw, remove the groove mount plate and you can put it through this hole right here. So you can see that under this part, there's a little notch 
where the groove mount plate will be fixed. So now that you fix the Dyson X itself, you're ready to fix the Dyson extruder with the two fasteners that are included in your Dyson extruder and Dyson X kit. Okay, so now that everything is installed, make sure to make your connection to see how to connect uh, each wire on the board. Go on uh, the support section of DiceDesign.com and to be able to connect everything and there's no um, problem with the end stop you will have to rotate the odd end 90 degree back and make a tie wrap around this knob right here so when you will make your home position this way and this way there won't be any issue with the end stop so now just connect the motor and connect the fan and since that the thermistor is already connect and the heater itself is already connect, you're not ready to go. So thanks for watching everyone and uh, see you next time. Hey guys, check out our other Dice Extruder and Dice End installation videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our Dice Design YouTube channel for some awesome videos.